So welcome um, to my latest video. It's about um, doing a mastic joint with um, silicon sealant, as you can see um, here. This is all along this laminate floor, as you can see. I pretty much finished everywhere, but I left a little bit here. So there are a few rules. Um, one is that you need to the most important thing is that you, wherever you go, it needs to be clean and dust free and grease free and also debris free because if there's debris around then it can go into the silicon and then you will, you will have dark marks on it. So to change a tube you You need one of these, that's like a, a silicon tube gun. Um, now this one is finished, so we take the nozzle off, and that, that was already pre-cut, you can see it's cut at an angle. Yeah. And that is, this here is where it will come out, um, the silicon. Um, so <clears throat> for a new tube, you can see this is just silicon sealant. You need something sharp and you need to cut this nozzle here off. Um, it can do, be done with a sharp knife. I've got this to hand now. Right, so that's cut off. Oh, I have to get it in focus, as you can see and the silicon will then come out of here. I'll show it this way around. So then we put the nozzle on. You can see the nozzle is already full up with the previous one. So we screw this on. Here we go. Now normally I need two hands to do silicon sealing but I'm going to try and do it with, with one hand. So here Basically, that's where you squeeze. It is very important that um, you do this, that you squeeze regularly and you don't rest till, till you actually want to stop. Uh, when we stop, we need to release this, this here because otherwise there's still pressure on and it just keeps churning out here at the front. So let's try. So try and do it nice and even. And if you do it nice and even, then it's actually really, oops, there was a little air bubble in it. Oops, here we go. If you do it nice and even, whoop, not like that. I'll go over it again. Here we go, this is a bit messy now. <laughs> it shouldn't be like that. Right, so let's stop here and we release. It's quite hard to do this with one hand. And then we want, um, we want some soapy water, but people use all sorts of things. There are people who put masking tape so you can get a straight line, but actually you'll be able to get a straight line if you apply just very gentle pressure on it as I'm showing you right now. As I said, this is a bit messy, but it's sots law, isn't it? Here we go. So we just give gentle pressure. Now this is where it's really important that you, that you have clean surfaces. Okay, and now these bits, you can see, we can just get our finger here and get this nice and straight. So that we have a nice straight line so that it looks nice. Here we go. So that's that's not bad at all. Nope, not quite finished. 
So you basically, you, you cover your finger with, um, with this soapy water, sorry, yes, soapy water. So basically that means then the silicon doesn't stick to your fingers. And also, it really, your finger really runs nice and smooth. Okay, there's another little bend here. Right, so that is it. Um, if you have bigger holes, you need to, let's see whether we can find a bigger hole somewhere. Um, yes, for instance, here, what you should do is you should uh, roll up some paper and just fill that um, and maybe leave four or five millimeters for the, for the mastic joint and then you can just fill it in. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it and this is just an introductory um, session. There are also tools um, that you can run along but I just prefer my finger because then I can really see the pressure and feel the pressure. Oh, here we go. Yeah, all right, thanks for watching and also my dogs have been watching here, sleeping rather than watching. All right, thank you.